Well, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going through my process of transferring artwork from my iPad, specifically Procreate, to my computer so that I can use it in Affinity Designer. If you follow any designers on Instagram, there's a good chance you've heard about Procreate. It seems to be coming an industry favorite. It's a great way to add texture or more realistic like painting medium to your designs and it's very easy to use with Affinity Designer. So once you're on your iPad, just open up Procreate. I'm going to go to my cactus illustration to show you how I like to group things together but still keep the black outline separate. So I have them on different layers. Before transferring, I like to remove the background color, especially if it's for a print on demand site. Clicking the wrench at the top and then share, click PNG. My computer automatically connects because it is a Mac, so I just share it that way most of the time. Going back out to the gallery, I want to go to kind of my ocean animal clip art set that I just worked on. And once it loads, I want to show you my layers because each individual motif or icon is on a separate layer, which makes it easier to work with later on. So I do recommend doing that. I do all of the details on separate layers and then I merge it all together before exporting. So once again, going back to kind of that wrench up at the top and then go to share. I do a PSD this time. And once again, I'm going to export it to myself because my Mac has automatically connected. But the other ways of doing it would be to email to yourself. You can save to Dropbox, you can save to Drive, anything like that, and then transfer it to your computer that way. Once you're back on your computer, go ahead and open up the PSD file that you transferred from your iPad onto your computer. As you can see in the layers panel, everything that was on a separate layer in Procreate is also on a separate layer in Affinity Designer. So you could go through and save each individual design, icon, motif, whatever you want to call them. You could save them as their own clip art so you could make a collection or clip art pack to sell on places like Creative Market. Or if you wanted to do this for yourself, this is a great way of getting a lot of texture onto your designs, which is one of the reasons I really like Procreate. And then you can use your designs in like a pattern or even a greeting card. This also works uh, for like the cactus prints that I have. I usually transfer those as PNG because it's good to go. I can upload it onto like a drop shipping site or print on demand and there's really no other work that I need to do other than uploading. So this is definitely one way of being able to work separately from your computer. So if you're on the go, maybe you are on the plane or train, so you can still work while not being attached to the computer. There are other ways you can use Affinity Designer actually on your iPad. Let me know if you are interested in learning how to do that. Leave a comment below and let me know. Um, also, leave me a comment and let me know if there's anything else you would like to learn on Procreate. It is starting to become one of my absolute favorite apps and my favorite way of designing. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.